Ashlyn's come in, Miss Becky's come in, but we just want to, you know, be respectful of your time as well. So good morning. Thank you for coming. I wrote some notes because otherwise I'll get off topic very easily. So I'm trying to focus myself. Um, this is my fifth year starting. My name's Kylie Carroll. This is the fifth year that I'll be teaching um, Head Start here at Elkhart Elementary. And my husband's in the military. I've moved around a lot, but most of my experience is in early childhood education. And research shows that the first five years are the most critical to a child's development and success. Children in early childhood education programs are less likely to repeat a grade, less likely to be identified as having special needs, more prepared academically for later grades, more likely to graduate from high school, and they're higher earners in the workforce. Now, of course, research, you know, we've got to take it with a grain of salt, but I can testify to what I've seen. And I've experienced the temper tantrum throwing child, the nonverbal child, the speech delayed child, the quiet plays alone child, the child that mom and dad are like, we don't really know what to do with them. Um, all succeed and grow the success of an early of an early childhood education. So those students are much more prepared for each next grade level because the foundation was set early. Everything in life thrives and sustains or collapses with the great foundation. So I'm an advocate for reaching every human in our community that can benefit from the early childhood education. Which brings us to this school year. Um, we are so thankful and happy that the enrollment numbers kept increasing. Our Park community just coming, kept coming, kept coming, and we just didn't know. So we all work here because we love it and we want everyone to love Elkhart as well. So as the class sizes continue to grow, we spoke to Dr. Smith about adding a class. And we had two options. You know, it's, we're kind of a few days before school, the numbers kept growing and the options were a waiver, which is where you get, you sign a waiver with the state, Texas Education Agency, and that allows the class sizes to be larger. So you're looking at like 27 plus kids three and four or four year olds in a classroom, or reach out to region seven, which is the Head Start grant component and add a Head, a head Start class. So in the interest of serving children better, smaller class size is better. The director from Head Start came out, she looked at, you know, she looked at all of our numbers and demographics and she said she could add a Head Start class. So she approved a second class and we started to grow. We were all pumped and stressed and scrambling to make this amazing for everybody, the community, the students, the parents, the families. But there's a hurdle to jump, and that is the Elkhart community is kind of unsure what Head Start is. So I'm here in this position, and it's been a fire in my belly to keep the message of what Head Start is because I didn't even know. I was kind of new to Elkhart, and I know you know, it was kind of like, oh, I don't know, do you want Head Start or regular pre-K? Well, there's really not much difference. There's a few differences. Um, and I started to hear murmurs of like, kind of a negative vibe regarding Head Start. And I still, to this day, I'm completely baffled by that as far as the Elkhart community. And so I want to address some of those concerns because I've heard it not necessarily from this year, but throughout the years. One of them, it's like, the dirty kids, the dirty scabies class. Well, in four years, I've never had a child with scabies, so we're fine, we're doing just fine. Uh, those are the poor families that go in the Head Start class. Well, we do have students that qualify over income for other reasons. Um, all of you are here today because you've provided financial documents, and some of you have really good tax accountants for paperwork um, and also these students are in our class for nine months then they go all all financially means students are in all classes at Elkhart school so that's just a really it's a dumb comment mm -hmm. um, and it's it's just shameful it's really sad also money does not equal fun or cool or smart because I know, and I feel like everyone in this room knows super cool, not so rich people, and idiot rich people. So it's like, that's just a dumb comment. 
Um, also, there's no discipline in the Head Start class. It's just wild romper room. Well, that's not true either. You can walk down that pre-K hallway and you will see in every classroom students acting like their age. <laughs> because they're four. And in our class, we have a blended class that's summer three. So we model, good morning Miss Ashley, come on. <laughs> We all model how to help these students become productive members of a school community. So you can see, you can walk up and down that hallway and you're going to see students walking in a line, working at their tables, cleaning up their centers. There's no swinging from the trees. I know we're like wild about learning this year, but there's no jungle activity going on down there. They're safe, they're supervised, and Head Start has um, a 1 to 10 or 2 to 20 ratio. So our classes are capped at 20, and there's two humans with them at all times. If it's not me and Miss Tiffany or Miss Ashlyn and Miss Kelsey, then Miss Becky steps in for any kind of coverage. So they are very well supervised. They're safe. Um, and then finally, something I want to address is paperwork, staff, home visits, meetings like this. You know, sometimes that people are like, oh, I don't, I don't want to fool with all that. Well. Head Start is a federal, federally funded grant program, and grants are wonderful, but they demand following very specific guidelines, completing very specific paper and paperwork, and there's just not a lot of wiggle room um, or change in that. You've really got to follow it if you want to keep your funding. So, all of us are emphatically passionate about our work, and we try to lead with love. So that's rare in a lot of places you find as far as customer service now. But like Miss Becky, she's going to remind you of appointments. She's going to make sure that paperwork is turned in. She's going to follow up with the family on needs and requests and celebrations. And I'm going to do home visits and I'm going to send you remind messages. And I'm just asking you to take the trade off. You are receiving an excellent tuition free education for your child. So the trade off is. Maybe a couple more meetings, maybe a little more time on paperwork, maybe a little something that's annoying. Um, but that's, you know, we're following our federal guidelines so we can keep our funding and we're asking you to help us grow and sustain the program. So, also on the home visits, I have a second, a third, a sixth, and a seventh grader, and I wish one of their teachers would come sit on my couch and tell me all these glowing things about my kid. So after this year, you're not going to get the same treatment, you know? <laughs> so just enjoy it. I promise you, I do not show up. We do not show up with a white glove. I'm not there. I have moved laundry. I have, you know, seen dishes. I've had dogs jump on me. <laughs> I've seen the stain on the carpet. If you come to my house, it's a normal house like everybody else. We're all just people trying to raise people. <laughs> so we don't care. We do not care. It's not a home visit. It's not a home inspection. That's what I've heard. Oh, they're coming for the home inspection. <laughs> no, we are not. So we're just going to come in. We're going to tell you a wonderful things about what's happening. I'm going to talk about the school, the classroom part. Ms. Becky's going to talk about her part. It's literally a 15 minute visit or less. So don't stress about it or just help us get the message that that's not, it's not even a thing. Okay. What else? Oh, and it's a time for you to ask any questions, you know, that you might not want to ask in a setting like this, or you forget, or you're busy, so it's very informal. So, I know I'm talking to the wrong crowd right now because you all are currently enrolled in Head Start, but we are asking you to help us sustain and maybe grow. Now we have two classes, and we want the doors to be knocked down. We want these students to come in because every student that we serve at the early childhood level is gonna grow through the community. They're gonna be taking care of me someday. So, you know, let's start as early as possible. I don't believe so strongly in just Head Start. I believe strongly in an early childhood education. So whether it's Head Start or Pre-K or whatever, they're all the same. We use the same curriculum, we go on the same trips, we follow the same uh, guidelines from the state. Um, we all got new curriculum at the same time. Ms. Ashton will get a whole new package this year since she's a new class. Um, so we just want you guys to help spread the message of what a glowing opportunity it is 
and also give us feedback for how we can continue to improve the processes, the paperwork. I mean, like I said, some things are not negotiable and some things we can change. Um, just a little facts, a few facts. In 2019 and 2020 school year, Head Start gave over $65,000 contributed to Elkhart School, and that's by way of teacher reimbursements, <coughs> snack, meals, um, involvement days, furniture and supplies, consumables, computer equipment, playground equipment, playground mulch. In 2020, 2021, they gave over $53,000 to our, our school, like not me, but <laughs> just like furniture, playground borders, playground mulch improvements. And then last year, well, 21, 22, they don't have the numbers from last year, but the year before, um, over $72,000. So it's not just our students that are benefiting. Everyone that goes to the playground is benefiting. Everyone that plays on the equipment and the mulch, everyone that goes to the cafeteria, like all of it is all positive for our community and our school and our students. So you helping us Staying this program benefits many, many people outside of just who's in this room. Um, what else? I think that's it. Moving forward, we know that this was a hard start. We got approved for the second class three hours before Make the Teacher Night, and a lot of people moved mountains for this. So I know there's like some unease, there's some like, oh, I don't really want that, I don't want a new teacher, I don't want to shift, I don't want to change. We know that and we we just know that and we are thankful that you're trusting us with the peace of your heart and we're thankful that you're walking on this journey with us and I think we're going to see well I know we're going to see the benefits throughout the school year so moving forward reach out anytime um, we'll do two <coughs> home visits this year one in the fall and one in the spring two parent teacher conferences one around Thanksgiving, one in the spring. Um, we'll have family involvement days, field trips, and special days. And you're welcome anytime you check in through the office. And we're here to serve you, your students, the families. Um, Miss Becky, we're probably going to go back to class after Miss Ashlyn talks. You can add whatever you want. I do want to add the number she had shared about Head Start. Just think now there's two classes. So, like, they've already, I turned in one wish list yesterday and they've already asked me, like, oh, is there anything else? Like, we need yours, this, and that. So, like, there's going to be more contributors. We've got two extra kids eating in the cafeteria, um, et cetera. So, I just want you to know those numbers are only going to grow. Um, my pay, so my pay, my Miss Kelsey, and my aide, I want to brag on her. She's going to school right now. She's got a little less than a year left and she's going to be. Hopefully at Elkhart ISD, and it would be lovely if we could do a three-year-old room mm -hmm. and she would do that with us. That would be so cool. But yeah, so we're growing. Um, you know, I'm here. I send my cell phone number out. I send my, my, my excuse me, remind messages out like crazy, just because it's the first year they're in school, and I don't want to miss anything. Y'all, send it back to me if you have any questions. But we're moving. Like we, I don't know if the kids come home. Some I have had parents text and say, well, they came home not saying much. Remember, they're four. I promise we are singing, we're dancing, we're doing centers, we're sharing, we're learning, we're gluing, we're cutting already, we're doing it all. Um, I will try to get better sending pictures out, but it's just been hectic getting started. But they are, they're loving school. We've had a few criers, they're not crying. Um, I mean, everyone's just coming in smiling. It's, it's good. It's all, it's all good now. <laughs> I may have not been saying that 5.30 Friday morning, maybe classrooms, but uh, it's good now. It's, it's good. So anyway, Do y'all have any questions here. for us? Yeah. Um, the way that it operates is we're like the teacher part of the component. So we do um, the ABCs and the one, two, threes and the classroom management and testing and assessments and monitor progress monitoring and that kind of thing. Miss Becky does her side, which that's uh, actually try to stay out of it because I don't know all the pieces, but that's what she's here to share. Um, I think she's got some stuff that's from the region that she'll talk about. And so do you have any questions for me or Ashlyn? What can we do at home like to have our kids 